Know your marine stuff. Hydraulic symbols, part three. Now we can discuss some other pressure control devices. 14A, counterbalance valve. Counterbalance valve symbol is similar to the relief valve, but a check valve is provided. Here you can see the symbol of relief valve and one extra check valve is provided. 14B is sequence valve. A sequence valve symbol is same as that of relief valve, but external drain is provided. 14C Unloading valve Unloading valve have no internal pilot. Only external pilot is given. Here in this image you can see external pilot is given. Typically unloading valve is used to unload a pump at low pressure. 14D Pressure reducing valve Pressure reducing valves are normally open. The pilot is connected to the outlet side of the port. When pressure that is outlet pressure gets high enough the valve gets close. Brake valve Brake valve symbol has an ex internal and external pilot. Brake valves are used to break the speed of freewheeling motor. So here in this diagram you can see an internal pilot and one external pilot is given. Now we also need a way to control the flow of oil so that cylinder may retract or expand. For this we are using direction control valves. Direction control valve symbols start with a square. Each square represents another position of the valve. Now if you have two squares means the valve have two positions. If you have three squares the valve has three positions. Ports represents the way the fluid can flow. Now in this valve you can see four ports. P, T, A and B. The ports are labeled P, T, A and B. P is known as pressure port. T is known as tank port. Now you can see a 4 by 3 way DCV direction control valve. The operational ways in each position are represented with arrows. Center condition have a variety of possibilities but most often it is one of the four possibilities. Number one is tandem center. The actuator is locked in a position and oil flows freely from port P to T. Here you can see the oil from port P pressure port is flowing back to tank port and actuator whatever it is it may be a ram or a veins of a steering gear it will be locked in the same position number two is closed center this block all the ports since the pressure port is blocked pressure build in the line until it dumped through the relief valve the third position is open center used most commonly with hydraulic motors all ports are connected to one another in the center position the hydraulic motor is allowed to freewheel number four is float center in which port a b and t are connected to each other and the pressure port is blocked since the pressure port is blocked the pressure built in the line and it has to be dumped through the relief valve Direction control valves also show the means of operation. The first symbol is it can be operated by lever. The second symbol is manual operation. The third symbol is solenoid. The fourth one is push button. The fifth one is pedal. 
DCB can be operated with compressed air. The symbol is shown here. And can be operated with pilot fluid. The symbol is this one. Detent is the different positions. Um, you can set the DCB. Spring is other mode by which we can operate the DCB. Now, in this symbol, you can see 4 by 3 way DCV. This is this DCV is spring centered and lever operated. Now, let us say we want to control the speed of the cylinder. For that, we have to use flow control valves. The first symbol is fixed orifice. The symbol looks like the line is being pinched. The second symbol is needle valve. The 45 degree arrow shows flow control is adjustable. Adjustable flow control. Check valves allows the reverse flow. Here's the symbol. This symbol is same as needle valve but check valve is attached. The thermometer symbolizes the valve is temperature compensated and the perpendicular arrow symbolizes the valve is pressure compensated. Now, contamination in hydraulic system is serious issue. To help to resolve this issue, we add a filter to the return line. Question for you. What this symbol represents? Please reply in comment section of this video. Yeah.